Well, it's something that many kids hope for, but snow days don't actually mean that work gets canceled for students. News 19's Colton Emsweiler spoke with several area districts to find out how they combine inclement weather with instruction. Making up for lost time. The Onalaska School District has had one snow day so far this year, which doesn't make much of an impact. But should there be too many closings, Superintendent Todd Antony says what they've had to do the last three years will not become a part of their future. One of the lessons from the pandemic is we came to realize that uh, learning best happens in our buildings, in our classrooms, with our teachers present. So on Alaska has opted not to utilize virtual learning as an option during inclement weather days. A stark contrast to Westby, the district has three available snow days, but has canceled a total of seven times this year. Instead of adding time to the calendar, they do allow for some home instruction, a policy supported by more than 90% of residents surveyed. For our youngest learners especially, we send home packets of information and worksheets and um, things to keep them moving um, in their content areas. And because it's not a virtual experience for our very youngest learners, we call it a flexible learning day. So it covers all those, whether it's synchronous, whether it's asynchronous, whether it's packet, or whether it's completed act after the actual event. An event many students look forward to, despite the fact it only delays the homework they will inevitably have. Reporting from Onalaska, I'm Colton Emsweiler, WXOW News 19. Now, if there's a chance Westby cancels school, Superintendent Michael says he tests the roads in his pickup truck at 4 o'clock in the morning. And if it takes longer than usual to drive from Chaseburg to Coon Valley, then to Westby, the district will consider a snow day or late start and make a decision no later than 530.